all right thanks for staying with us now talent acquisition is a process of finding attracting and hiring the right people for a company it is a critical uh, function for any organization as the right talent can help to drive growth innovation um, and success global talent acquisition day is celebrated every year on the first of, uh, of uh, first wednesday of september it is a day dedicated to recognizing and appreciating the essential role that talent acquisition plays in organizations worldwide. The goal of the holiday is to raise awareness of the importance of talent acquisition and to celebrate the work of talent um, acquisition professionals. Very, very important today. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm looking I, for two talents right now in case mm. you have anybody. I need a fantastic producer. Mm. I need a um, proper, proper, thorough animation graphics designer for the project that I'm working on. Mm. I thought yeah. fine I never see. So in case you know anybody. <laughs> I, think, I think in this acquisition thing, we should also um, give a major shout out to like organizations that just give out free information, you know, that will help to, you know, develop talents. Like uh, well, Harvard is one of them. They have some free courses and, you know, all these apps and systems that have free courses and even ways sometimes we you know hire interns to come and work on the show so big ups to us and everybody helping to develop talents mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> very very important we're in the era where your these soft skills are the ones that will take you to the next level mm -hmm. honestly speaking so for every opportunity that you have to hone your your skills or your talent and all of that and if you have organizations that are supporting um that um, what's it called? That honing of skills and, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and talent. Fantastic. All right, Jennifer, yeah. let me come to you. What did you find for us in the news? Electoral Act. <laughs> Electronic results transmission not mandatory, says tribunal. Uh, so basically, the, the, they had um, a five-member panel headed by Justice Aaron Tsisamani. He emphasized that the sole technological requirement mandated for use by the Independent National Electoral Commission during elections is the bimodal voter accreditation system. So regarding the allegations of non-compliance with the Electoral Act, and regulations and guidelines. So basically what he's saying is that there is no indication in the regulations that beavers must electronically transmit polling unit results. At this point, when I saw this, I, I was, <laughs> I was, I was mute. <laughs> I was like, you know what? <laughs> Just do whatever you want, you know, because at this point, what, what, what can we say? Because everything we had pre-election was Almost basically, like yeah, 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 everything yeah. is changing. Things are changing. It's like they're changing their words. And at this point, you're just like, you know what? Do can, 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 yeah. can you be trusted? No. Yeah. I just needed to pass. Just, yeah. yeah. I don't know how, I don't know what people were thinking, but hey. So two updates I want to quickly give. Mm -hmm. Na Natasha, okay, let me come with the first one. It says, Delta, um, Tribunal Sachs Delta South Senator orders a rerun within 90 days. So, I mean, outside of the presidential one, everybody's monitoring the mm -hmm. other things happening. Yeah. Right, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Michael Didan, had approached the tribunal with his petition seeking to dis uh, dis the, the disqualification of the APC candidate. He argued that the electoral body did not follow um, the electoral act before declaring APC winner of the election. So, um, the tribunal chairman, um, Justin Catherine, Ogunsola ruled that Onowa Pos certificate of return be withdrawn. So that's one angle in Delta State. Then Natasha, that's um, Kogi Senator. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there were a lot, in fact, her own particular one, I monitored it because you know she's very strong on social media. So she had gone out, how they dug a hole. Imagine a big, they dug a big, we like call that in a crater. That one is more than a crater because <laughs> they dug something so deep in the ground overnight that mm. she couldn't drive to her village so they wow. started covering it with sand i mean it, it, it went viral i'm sure you guys mm -hmm. you know maybe just forgot a similar it. thing happened, happened during yeah. elections yeah too. that's what that's what i'm saying during the elections mm -hmm. so there were so many build-up of drama that happened around her during mm -hmm. the election so i mean this is good news everybody's celebrating her again because she's a woman we're so happy you know that this victory has come to her so the tribunal has declared her 
um, winner, Natasha Koti Uduagan, um, uh, of the People's Democratic Party, Kogi Central Senatorial Election that was held in February. Mm. They've declared her winner. You know, um, the she has a lot of issues with the governor, Yahaya Bello. So it's been back and forth, back and forth. At some point, in fact, there was just so much drama around there. Her own particular um, uh, campaign and, and elections and all of that. So I'm happy that um, they've called up, um, they've declared her winner. Mm -hmm. Again, because she's a woman, we celebrate her and we hope that she does well and represents her people, you know, as, as, uh, as well as uh, um, very good. All right, so we'll take a break now. When we come back from that break, we want to delve into our conversation for today. We really want to discuss and dismantle these issues around employees. We're in very interesting times, right? So stay with us. We'll be right back.